Howdy, me Philip Bart here, and welcome. It got really, really quiet in here for some reason. <laughs> Alright, so this is just going to pick up from where we left off on the last video, but the uh, question was of adding in lots of animations for Cinti Studios characters. And, well, first off, we need some Cinti Studios characters. So what I'm going to do... Now, these are not... I'm going to use the pedestrian animation pack. Um, it says 150 plus, but it's actually 216 different animations that's in one asset pack. And then I'm going to bring in another asset pack, which is going to be uh, another one that is not free. Uh, neither one of these two are free animation packs, but I'm going to use it anyway. And we're going to add to project. Let's scroll down. Way too many projects. Way too many. Um, the hell is this one called? Uh, it's new start. Select it. Add to project. While that one's doing its thing, I'm going to scroll up and find the generic. Uh, where are you? Alphabetical order. It seems logical, right? Um, first person story adventure was pretty cool. Uh, we need the generic NM pack. We're going to add a project. Same thing. Scroll down for about an hour till you find your project and new start. Add a project. If the other one's not done, this one will just queue itself automatically and boop and done. All right. So what we've done here is we've added these animation packs in here and we haven't added any City Studios characters. I'm going to go ahead and throw in, even though 99% of the assets that I've got for Ascenti came from their store for a couple different reasons. Um, one, direct support to them. Two, um, you get the Unreal Engine 4 and Unity versions and the RAWs that are able to be worked with. Um, I'm not going to use the APOC pack right now. I'm going to use a small pack. Let's use Explorer. 13.6 whole megabytes. And I'm going to scroll down for a half hour. And yes, I could search and then type it in right there. That would actually be logical. But, you know, who said I ever do anything logical? So add a project, and that is done. Now we have a buttload of characters we need to sort through. First things first, create a temp folder, new folder called temp. This is going to be our buffer space. This is where we're going to initially retarget our animations to before we put them on the Cinti Studios characters. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to go down the line here, go to mannequin folder, characters and mesh, go into our UE4 mannequin skeleton. And if you do not have the retarget manager here, just click right there and it'll add that tab. And we're going to select rig, humanoid rig. Okay, since we're going to be doing Cinti Studios characters, but not yet, we're just going to stop here, leave it the way it is, hit save and close. Okay, now the next thing is going to be, you can minimize that folder, we're going to go to the generic NPC anim pack and use whatever ones you've got and I'm gonna come to my character folder mesh and again we see UE4 mannequin skeleton which will get confusing because they're all named the same thing um, select rig select humanoid rig and save they now share the same rig so it'll be easier to convert them over now what I'm gonna do is go to my animation folder and there's 69 so I'm gonna left click no 69 jokes here. Um, left click on the first one, scroll down, shift left click on the last one. There's one thing I don't like is they all have the word anim in front of it and an underscore. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click and I'm going to retarget anim assets, duplicate anim assets and retarget. I'm going to select the correct one, which is going to be game 
mannequin characters mesh. For me, it's the bottom one. So now we have a character that shows up in both of them. That is awesome. Now, in replace, I'm going to put in anim underscore. And that's it. And then I'm going to hit change. I'm going to select my temp folder, select OK, and retarget. It is going to retarget all of them and actually put them into my temp folder. It's going to take a couple seconds, but now we can click off of it, go down to our temp folder. We have them all in here. Let's go ahead and hit save all. And yes, and the, the map scene from the other map, um, which is still here. I closed it in. There's no windows, just walls only. Alright, so now all of these are retargeted and they work for the UE4 mannequin skeleton and I'll have no problems using them right now. Um, let's open up talking. See, looks good, works good. And it's amazing, right? And there was much rejoicing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the generic NPC anim pack. And you know what? Screw it. While we're at it, let's add one more in. Let's just make this totally complicated. I'm going to go ahead and there's one that is free for the month that if you don't have now, damn it, get it. Scroll down. Here it is. Boom. Make sure you add it to your cart and be done with it. We're going to add to project. Find our project and add to project. well worth having. So now that one's in here. We have the Phoenix Anim Pack. We're going to open up this one, go to our meshes, not it, go to our characters and mesh, go into our UE4 mannequin skeleton, select humanoid rig. This will all become clear soon. We'll hit save. We're retargeting everything over to the UE4 mannequin skeleton. So we only have 17, so I'm going to select all those. Again, it has the word anim in, anim in front of it. I don't like that. So whenever I retarget, make sure I'm on the right UE4 mannequin skeleton. And I'm going to type in anim and nothing in there. If you want to put something else in front of it and replace those letters, you replace that with whatever you want to go there. So we're going to hit change, go to temp, OK, and retarget. So now it's going to retarget all these animations to the, the normal U, default U4 skeleton. And now, as an example, swimming should be in there. If so we look, we now have 86 animations. And let's go ahead and hit Save All. Save Selected. And there we go. And there was much rejoicing. So now we have 86 animations. Let's minimize that. And the last one is going to be pedestrians. Same thing. Open that up. Go to demonstration demo character mesh. Open it up. Ensure that it's set to humanoid rig. And it is already, so that's fine. And we can go to our animations folder. And it's 216. So I'm going to grab the first and shift left click on the last. And same thing. Right click. Retarget all of your animations to your UE4 mannequin skeleton first. Do that. Select the correct UE4 mannequin skeleton. This will be less confusing here in just a few minutes. Nothing to replace there. Change our folder location to the temp folder. OK. And retarget. And there's 216 more animations to add to our pool. You'll never have enough animations, I promise. <laughs> Damn, I wish I had an animation for this. Uh, okay, well, go ahead. So now if we go down here to our temp folder, we have 302 animations. Let's hit Save All. Save Selected. So everything is saved correctly. And as soon as that's done, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the folder for the pedestrian animations. As soon as everything gets caught up. And then I'm going to go to the root of my content folder. Make sure everything is good and saved. And we're going to close the project. Why? Why are we closing the project? We're, we're wanting to do things. 
because now we need to go back to our file explorer go to the location of where the actual project is located and mine's going to be in the Unreal, Unreal Projects folder and this one was called New Start so I'm going to go into that and inside my content folder generic NPC pack pedestrian anims Phoenix anim pack we no longer need those I'm going to hit delete here and get rid of them here if you do it in Unreal Engine 4 it's going to take you about 15 freaking minutes for some reason so now we can go back and to our library find our project mm, yes there's Fortnite go back into our project and we don't have those extra UE4 mannequin skeletons to deal with and it's going to be actually faster to exit the project and go back into it again ah coffee gotta love it so now we have 302 animations and we want them to actually work on our UE4 mannequin skeleton and this is a blank project without my simple multiplayer scene template so um, we just have a default character in our character blueprints. So the next step is to actually go into our Polygon Explorers pack or whatever Polygon pack that we want and actually go into our characters folder and create a new folder called Mesh. Because if you're using one City Studios freaking asset pack, you know good and damn well you're going to use two or three or four or five. You're going to use more. And Cindy asset packs are like crack, I man. You, once you get one, you just have to have the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. You gotta catch them all, right? You know? Yeah, I made a Pokemon reference. No, I've never played Pokemon in my entire life. I'm a grown ass man. I don't know what Pokemon even looks like if I, if I saw it. But all right. So anyway, in our mesh folder, we can now go to our Polygon Explorers pack or whatever Polygon pack you're using. I'm gonna go into my um, mesh folder characters and we have our sk underscores here blah 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 all I'm gonna do is left click and drag this over to the mesh folder that I just created and copy here I'm now gonna go in here and F2 and I'm gonna rename this to sk underscore polygon this is gonna be your common skeleton you're gonna use for almost every single solitary Cindy Studios character including the friggin simple series works this way and you go into it, it's already set to a humanoid rig, but you see there is no model here because we haven't assigned one yet. Okay, so what we need to do now is go back to our Polygon Explorer pack, into our meshes, characters folder. The reason why I chose this one because I know there's only two characters. Because now we select both of them, right click, and go to skeleton and assign skeleton. Select our SK Polygon. Hit accept SK Polygon. You're gonna have to do this every t for every single solitary character you select that way, whether it's two or twenty. You got to do it that way. And then we're gonna hit save all, save selected. Now we go back to our mesh SK Polygon, and we can select either our female or our male character or whichever we want for our, our primary, and hit apply to asset and save. Once we're there, now we can move on to retargeting animations. So, again, we have 302 animations. I'm going to start from the very, 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 very top, and I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom. Shift left click. Now we have all 302 selected. And one step we need to do before we do that. Sorry. Um, Sorry, we already have an animations folder, so let's go ahead and in our animations folder we have our sit-in chair stuff. These have not been retargeted. And here's where the problem is going to run into is if we remove them, it may cause an issue. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another new folder here. And I'm going to call this generic. Um, 
sorry, speaking to a uh, lovely, lovely lady. Sorry, I have multiple things going on at one time. So we've got our generic folder here. This is where we're going to put our animations. So now I can minimize our Polygon Explorers for now. Go back to our temp folder, select the first one, scroll down, shift left click, right click, there we go, and I am going to retarget these animations. Select my SK Polygon, but now I knew this was going to be a thing, that's why I, I did it this way. You can see he's in a different pose from him. This is where it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to cancel that out. And since we only have the one character now, I'm going to go to my UE4 Mannequin Skeleton. You guys have seen me do this before. I'm going to click on the upper arm, rotate it up by 50. Lower arm, down by 10. Back 30. And then the hand needs to come up by 10 or 20 or 15. We're going to do 10 this time. Um, upper arm, 50. Lower arm, down 10. Back 30. Hand up by 10. And that's going to give us our T-Pose. We're going to hit um, Modify Pose, Use Current Pose, and Save. We can close that now, hit save all. Now we can finally get into uh, doing our final retargeting of all these animations. So all 302 animations we're going to add here are going to be done in one fell swoop. So retarget animations, and if we come in here, SK Polygon. Now both characters are in a T-pose, so we're good to go. And I'm going to change the location, go to Characters, Animations, Generic, OK and retarget. Poof, that's going to retarget all 302 animations at one time over to use with our um, our Cinti Studios character versus just our normal dude. So now if we go to our generic, they're all here. Save all, save selected. Now, the next time when you get done, you can close your project and go back into the file source and actually delete the temp folder. That'll get rid of those extra animations you don't need. It'll just free up some hard drive space. So there we go. All those animations are there. Now let's make them work. We got our UE4 mannequin skeleton. We're still we're still using Manny. We want to use different Manny. We don't have a chair in here. And uh, we didn't retarget the chair animations. So we can actually do the same thing here with our chair animations. I'm going to grab these three and I'm going to right click, retarget, and select our new guy, change our folder, and I'm going to put them into our animation generic and retarget. Now, the next thing we need to do is create an animation blueprint specifically for this. Oh god, that sounds difficult. No, not really. Um, we're going to go to the mannequin folder, animations, and for our third person anim BP, I'm going to hit F2, Control C, and then I'm going to click off of it. We've just copied the name in there because we're going to change the name. What I'm going to do now, right click, retarget, duplicate anim, retarget, pick our polygon skeleton, and we're going to click Replace, Control V, and we're just going to type in Polygon underscore ABP for Animation Blueprint. And again, we're going to change, go to our Characters folder, Animations is fine, and OK, and Retarget. Now, it's going to retarget the rest of those animations over to, and the Animation Blueprint over to be used there. Next thing we need to do, so that we can actually get Manny swapped out for our new adventure character, is go to our Blueprints folder for our character. Go in here and go to our viewport. So we see we have Manny. I'm going to click on Mesh, SK Mannequin. Now, is going to drop into a T-Pose, which is no big deal, because now all we have to do is go to our animation class here, 
change this over to polygon ABP and he is done compile save and if we hit play we now have our character so what about those animations um, how they're gonna look how they're gonna work we just added over 300 uh, animations in here so we have our chair animations let's look at what happens if we throw in blueprint sit spot and no we're not talking to the dog telling the spot to sit um, we're gonna just turn that around and I'm just gonna throw a cube in here so we have a location for us to be able to sit on and just kind of center it up on that a little bit so if we come over here and I want to sit down it works just fine now we're gonna to have to adjust it for the chair that we're actually using and that's the the joy of using this I can actually just bring that up a little bit and sit down and now his butt's on there even though his feet are hanging in the air a little bit that's because he's a little bit shorter we could actually since we're just using a cube we could actually lower that down and lower that back down and make adjustments and we can just sit down and there was much rejoicing we could lower it down about five more and his feet would still be on the ground yay um well I don't know what that was. It totally ignored the entire sequence here. Yeah, that was just a weird anomaly. So, that's that. Um, animations, let's take a peek at them. Generic, if you want to look at bowing now you notice that some of them may look a little odd like see his legs are really close together here if you want to fix the individual animations that are having the issues you can do a couple different things here we see where he brings his legs together um, where that's too far you could actually if you wanted to just um, make adjustments to it and I'm gonna uncheck snapping on this and then I'm going to hit key and apply. You can make minor adjustments here and there as you need to to, to fix that. And hit save. That's good. Um, if we wanted to actually perform a different animation, um, I've shown in the past how to do animation montages and things of that nature. Uh, and setting those up. Again, there we go sitting in a chair works just fine so if you want to add any emotes or any of these animations you just go about it in the normal way you want to go about it um, I'm just going to throw in a quick representation keyboard F and when I hit F I want to get a reference of my mesh and this is not the the best way of doing it this is just quick and dirty play animation and now I can actually just pick whatever I want in here uh, what animation do I want so you're gonna have duplicates of everything so that's why I say um, you need to make sure that you go back and delete that temp folder because you're gonna see one of each but if you mouse over it you can see the file path game temp well that's not the one we want we want um, that one right there because it's going to game characters animations generic the very first thing in that box here is the path take a look what do we want to do um, we want to clap well, let's take a look at it looks good so we'll just type in here clap and pick out one that's good and you know, just so it's not looping continuously until we're ready to stop, we can just throw in temporarily a 
flip flop and then anim instance class and here we go polygon animation blueprint connect that into here and of course you'd want to stop your, your movement mode and that kind of stuff so get your character movement throw it in here and set movement mode just threw an extra one in so we do it the first time we stop our movement mode and when we hit the button again we want to go back to our normal animation system and walking bite me go there so now we come in here we walk it around we hit F and was that the wrong one probably is the wrong animation I did. I went to the temp folder. It needs to be that one. Again, that's why I say get rid of that freaking temp folder so you don't have the extras. So now we're clapping. That was not a good looping animation, but I mean, you can change it to whatever you want. I said clap one. Um, You could set them up as montages. So, yay, he's clapping. And then when you hit the F key again, he goes back to his normal thing. You hit it while you're walking, it stops you, and he does it, and then you do it, and you go. So, there we go. If you guys have any questions on that, let me know in Discord, and I'll be glad to answer them. If you want to see more, um, I said this was just a quick run through. Now, again, we notice our character doesn't have any hair and doesn't have a hat on or anything else if you want to just cause my OCD and while we're here to fill in three minutes because it's not a 30 minutes and there, there's my OCD um, character attachments and we have two different types of hair one with and one without a hat so I'm going to do a male hat you know the hair with hat that kind of thing so I'm going to select my mesh and add component static mesh and I'm going to call this hair and just for giggles I'm going to make sure that there's no collision on it compile and save and then I need to go to my parents socket not my parents house but my parents socket and it's terrible and we need to rotate it so we'll grab a rotation thingamajiggy and make sure we have snapping turned back on here I hate this stop moving and check real time we need this to be negative 90 why there's decimal points out there I don't freaking know so now we got that and go back to my mesh Go back over here, select um, my hat, add mesh, static mesh, hat, and again, select head for the socket. Ro rotation is negative 90, and just for that, I want to make sure I go to no collision, compile, and save. Now, if we decide we want to take our hat on and off, we'd have to switch our hair piece at the same time, and then, yeah, again, something for another day. Yay. Much rejoicing. Um, we don't have a beard. we got to have a beard. So, let's go ahead and select the beard, and our player, our mesh, add component, static mesh, beard. I'm going to go ahead and no collision because static meshes and um, skeletal meshes don't like each other. And we'll do negative 90 and it lines up perfect. And compost and save. Now we we'll go back in here. We have a beard, we have a hat, we have hair. And again, much rejoicing.
Come over here, have a seat. We're good to go. We could add other props onto our character. We might have to add sockets for him and that kind of stuff, but that's for another day. Backpack, same thing. We, we could add a socket in for the backpack, uh, the rope, the whip, um, the pouch, and we also have props we can play with, um, a torch, a knife, uh, an ice pick, or an ice axe, rather, a flashlight, interesting angled flashlight, so you'd want to have an animation that shows them holding that, there's a compass, binoculars, well, it just so happens that all these animations that we put in here, huh, binoculars, you have an aim offset for it, a start and an end, um, so we actually have a way of creating that. Uh, I use binoculars, and the binocular mask is available for free that I use in BPG demos in my Discord. Use your animations however you wish. Um, and that's it. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys around.